I'm from the Midwest. In the Midwest, when someone moves into your neighborhood, you bring something over to the home. Well, today, I have asked Laura from our kitchens to show you how to put together a very simple little trinket to take to your new neighbors. What do we do first? Okay, the first thing we do is, this is a bag of frozen blueberries. Throw this in the blender. And so you want me to just kind of coarsely? Coarsely chop. You just got it. a couple times. Good. That's enough? Yeah. So just really for like a hint, yep. just a moment. Bring out and the color. And you want me to put it back in that glass bowl? And with the blueberries, then we're just going to fold in a container of whipped topping. An entire container? Entire container. Oh, you know that pie is going to be good if you got blueberries and an entire just container of whipped topping. And just a quick fold so it's not okay. too, you know, so it looks pretty and swirly. And the, well, eventually, too, that will break down to nothing. Yeah. You know, so I think that's good. Think Even that's some good? white swirls it, is pretty. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, white and swirls. Now, check that mm -hmm. out. And it's awfully real. Uh, you have to test as you go. Yummy. Okay. That can be spooned right in here. Spooned right in here. So that's it. That's my cream filling. That's, that's all it. I have to do. Gosh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I really like that color. It's almost like a light pink, grape, purple. I'm making a mess. That's right. See, if you had done that, you wouldn't make that mess. Well, would I would. You? I would. No, I, I don't think you would. Before anybody saw it. <laughs> Okay, so we just clamp this down. So let's not tell. Should we not tell about no. the mess I just made? No. Turn it, see, you turn it around and it looks yeah. pretty good. From that exactly. Side. Yeah. The next thing is the, the granola topping. Yeah. And that is two cups of oats. Okay. Brown sugar. Okay. Cup of that brown was like sugar. a perfect brown Wasn't sugar. Wasn't it? Either. Like oh, this looks like fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, almonds. It's like I'm playing in the sand here. Okay, that's good. Oh, butter. We need to quarter this. Okay, and that's good too. So you're slicing it right down the center and then you're going to come. Okay. And there's really no need I to. I learn something new every day. There we go. And I'm just, just breaking it. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle, sprinkle them on right you can on mix the top. It in a little bit. Okay. A little, I don't want to overdo it, right? Because mm. it's okay to have it's almost like a, like a blueberry. Right. Crumble. And that will give you some chunks. That'll give me chunks. Yeah. So the whole okay. stick goes in. Okay, you got it. A little bit more here. A little bit more. Get the whole thing in there. Here, you want to help me? You want to work with me? Oh yeah. Do you think that's mixed enough? Perfect. Perfect. Pop that in the oven. In the oven. What temperature? 300 degrees. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And it's going to give it just that little bit of toasting you want. And you can see here, we have some here that the lovely Laura, that would be her. Has our, oh, that smells fantastic. It does. Smell that. Uh, you know, and I would check this halfway through and maybe give it a little toss on the pan. Okay. Just to get a little bit more even brownie. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, so, that's good. Yeah. See, this is what you get from the butter chunks. Mmm. Love it. That is crazy good. Mm. And what are we going to do? Put that in another this little container? Another jar. And we do this a lot here at the workshop. If there's a container or a jar that we love, we save it. We don't throw it away. And then you're all set and ready to bag things up. Now, last but not least, all we did was we put some slice and bake cookies. Slice and bake correct? cookies. Chopped them up, followed the directions. And these have been here cooling. So it's almost like this, if you can imagine. And this is one thing I love about this, is it's a cookie crust. So you take those pre-baked cookies, and you pop them right in the bottom of your container. And then you would put the stuff on top, and you put the granola on the top. granola on top. And what I think is fun to do is you can put these in a little Ziploc or some kind of cute cloth bag you have. But if you go in there, I have some brown. Yeah, right there. Just take them. It can be a regular brown lunch butt bag. There you go. You wrap that right up for me. Nice and tight. I love it. OK, put that right in there. Put that right in there. Come on. Wouldn't you be happy? Instructions? If you right in there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd be happy. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the neighborhood with a put-together pie.